I I was really into math and computer science, but then I started thinking about career paths, you know, after college. And I was like, I don't really want to be a software engineer. Like, I don't want to sit at my computer all day and just write code. Uh, but I also, you know, don't want to be stuck in a room by myself writing proofs. Not that that's what mathematicians do. Uh, but in my mind, I was like, okay, I like these two things, but I just don't, there's no career that is combining these two, you know, areas that it's in a way that I think is really cool and I'm really excited about. So then I got back to this astronomy class and I was like, okay, well, I did a lot of math in that class and I know astronomers code. So maybe I should, you know, take another class. So I had this thought, I signed up for a physics class, you know, which I was nervous <laughs> for, uh, but I ended up just loving it. I think taking that class in the historical women's college environment was what made it so different. Mm. So, you know, prior to that in high school, I was one of the only girls in my, you know, math and, and science courses. Uh, and I went to public high school. So, you know, there was, you know, not tons, tons of resources to, you know, engage specifically like girls in STEM. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I think just being in that atmosphere, you know, I was so encouraged to make mistakes and not be afraid to like raise my hand and ask questions. Um, I could do the homework without being ridiculed for being like a nerd. Uh, so I just I loved it for that reason. And